Hi, everybody. Do you have your cuppa? You all set? Let's do this one more day. That's what we got, the gift of today. So why not do it in a way that is satisfying, satiating, filling, makes you content, makes you purr like a kitten, gives you all of the, yes, this is why I'm glad I'm doing it. I've just been listening to people that are half my age talk about all the voodoo, woo-woo stuff about, you know, how to time this and, and chart that and reverse this and do all of that. And, you know, I'm eating too much, but don't worry, it'll come off. Yeah, I, I bought that for about 15 pounds. And so it's kind of fascinating just to listen. I don't know about you, but I'm a foodie and I want to eat till I'm satisfied. I want to feel content. I want to feel like I had everything that I wanted at my meal and it worked. And I do say my meal. I do do OMAD. And, you, you know, as you're beginning to hear me say here a lot, with my clean intermittent fasting, my clean fasting, and my one meal a day, I think that's the difference, not so much the content. So when I show you what I eat, it's really not for your critiquing, it's for your like, oh, well, she does all that. Oh, she's eating that vegetable. Oh, she has that and it has more carbs than 20 total. Just so you can see that when you clean fast leading into your OMAD, that the OMAD, it's the, it's the fact that you're doing OMAD <clears throat> and the clean part that gives you, like when you have your OMAD, that box that you put your food in on the table, it gives you like what it's going to give you. And it's not so much what you eat, it's when and how you eat. To me, at, at 70, this is what I'm seeing. So the question for today's little cuppa, mm -hmm, this is Wicked Joe, the turquoise bag, um, turquoise shiny bag. I'm not quite sure what it was, but it's good. It's powerful. But anyway, what I wanted to talk about today is the food plan that we call keto, which according to my friend Bitsy, has so many, there's, it's a spectrum of how you do it, right? I do my keto my way, you do your keto your way, it works for you how you do it, or you know that something is supposed to be tweaked and you're resisting a little bit, but you know, it's different than what I have. <clears throat> and also respecting that you have an older metabolism that you have brought through the woods, it's gone into battle for you, you've been in the in the gullies, in the pits, as well as at the peak of the mountain with great loss and the genes fit and nobody recognized you at your class reunion, all the good stuff and all the bottom stuff that's like, oh God, I thought this was working. Well, I guess it's just time to tweak again. So the, the question I'm asking you, will you get into it, please? It's been three minutes and 45 seconds. Oh, okay, sorry. The question is, is your keto plan a way of eating to lose weight or a lifestyle that you plan to just continue, maintain, tweak as necessary, like your car? Is it a I'm keeping the car for 10 years, so I'm just going to, you know, it, it comes up with the problem and I deal with it. It comes up with a need and I do it. I also treat it nice while I'm doing it, get the oil changes when I'm supposed to, you know, wash it, take care of the tires, all that kind of stuff. Or am I just driving this car as a beater just to get from point A to point B, maybe a lot, maybe infrequently, but that's just that. So what 10 years are you picking? Lifestyle or keto plan to lose weight and then that's it, game over. I can go back to doing what I was doing. Now, some people may find that doing the keto for a number of months or years gives them a renewed and, and like refurbished metabolism and they can go back to eating 
some standard American diet items and not have danger, danger, danger. You know, they, they are able to somehow do it. They're able to keep their Ms. Slick in control. It's like, nope, we are, we are only having one of those. Even though it's a treat, we're having one. And if you can't do one in safety, meaning your head doesn't engage and you're not gobbling them all up because there's four left on the plate and everybody just left, you know, that's not going to work. But if you can maintain what you're doing, I guess it still is the keto lifestyle, right? Because you're allowing for life to enter in and to have a treat or two at times. For some of us, we just want to lose that weight. You know, it's like the WW um, for life, the lifetime members where they, you know, they aren't really asking them what they're eating. They just have to stay in a certain range of pounds. At least that's how it used to be when I listened to channels that had lifetime members and things like that. Whatever works. But for me, it's a keto lifestyle that I'm on. It's the, I, I bought this car, I'm going to drive it for 10 years, I'm going to take care of it, I'm going to maintain it. It, it you know, to the point where it's paid off, it doesn't owe me anything, but that doesn't mean it's not going to need tires or an oil change or, you know, windshield washer fluid, any of that stuff. It still needs maintenance when you're on maintenance, if you're following me. So it's because you're... I'm just assuming, which I shouldn't. But because you're here, you're older, or you've got a food addiction, a sugar addiction, a carb addiction. So just because you've gone through the woods with those sort of things with your keto plan and you come out the other side doesn't mean that you might not need to tweak. You know, it's, it's funny shopping and seeing what people have and wondering, are they maintaining? Do they... Do they have that creep of the 10 pounds every 10 years? Is it just like going like this? Are they not paying attention? Do they not care? Rarely do I see the people. It's a contactless, you know, personless sort of venture. So it's just interesting. And you need to ask yourself, am I just doing this to lose weight? And then we just call it a day and I move on or are you seeing the benefits of the foods that you're having? You feel better, you sleep better, you're not constipated, you don't have those headaches. You know, the, the med taking is, is lessened. Maybe you don't need your asthma things anymore. Maybe even your thyroid has changed a little bit. Maybe you're no longer a type two diabetic and the doctor says, nope, you don't need them. I don't know, I'm not, you know, a healthcare professional, I'm just saying, that there are some changes that happen. Maybe you don't have the aches and pains or you only have them on rainy days or when a storm is due, which is just part of your little body, right? So, but you maintain. Now, yesterday, uh, a daughter put in and um, with her mother's input, her food shopping list, her mother's 93 years old, bless her little heart, and I loved what she purchased. And I'm think, you know, it makes you start thinking. It's not necessarily what you eat. Now, I'm sure at 93, you know, she eats like a sparrow. <laughs> but she ordered um, three of the largest sweet potatoes I could find. And maybe she cuts them in half and has half a day. Maybe a sweet potato is a good thing to have. She had, um, she did have bran flakes. Um, she had chicken thighs with the bone. She had, um, low fat milk and fat free milk. She had sugar free ice cream, two half gallons. Um, she didn't have crackers. She didn't have cookies. Uh, she had, a, I think a little cheese, but just a, a notable amount, not like it's every single day. And um, no yogurt, a pound of butter, and yeah. So she had lots of veggies and fruit. She had bosque pears. She had um, honey crisp apples. She had, anyway, she had a variety, a nice variety of whole foods, real foods. And so I loved it. Now, 
you know, it's funny because I shop for an older woman who I have seen because she's met me at the slider with her kitties and um, probably a human connection for her. And um, and so I've shopped for that woman. The diet, the, the food items were a lot alike. This, pro this woman is, that I've seen is probably early 80s. The woman I didn't see uh, was probably, well, her, her daughter said she's 93. And um, they both eat the same. The only thing that the woman who I've seen added to the chicken was Wagyu beef. So she probably has a little patty, you know, in between the chicken thighs. So it's just interesting to see what older women have in their food plan that keeps them going. You know, the whole foods thing, I think, is important. Real whole foods, minimum, minimally processed foods. You say that three times at 4.30 in the morning and see how you do. And so it's just kind of a fascinating thing. So the more I've been listening to, to all of this, you know, I think at our age and what we've been through with this pandemic and the scares and do we get a flu shot or not and how we handle things because we aren't sure, you know, what our, what our lifespan's going to be and, you know, what our dangers are. It's a whole different ball game. And then I fell when I couldn't walk. You know, I made the decision. I really started tweaking and thinking, is life to be lived in, de in deprivation? I don't think so. And so, you know, I've allowed a keto treat to enter into my program. I still do the chronometer. I still weigh and measure. And then along came Jen Stevens talking about clean intermittent fasting. And it was like a whoop, game changer again. And what a difference it has made. And what those changes are is not having flavored coffee or flavored soda waters or gum or Tic Tacs, even brushing your teeth, all those sort of things with flavors. Um, I'm sure mouthwashes too, triggers the brain when you put it in your mouth that food is coming and insulin is re released. So the whole thing that Jen Stevens does, S-T-E-P-H-E-N-S does, is talk about the really clean aspect of it. So my formerly known as warm lemon water, glasses of water, heavily salted, is now without the lemon. And there's no flavored coffees. Um, there's no flavored soda waters or mineral waters. It's all either just water with salt in it or like Gerl Steiner water, not the flavored ones, just the plain water. And it's made a difference for me. That's why I share it here but I am doing a keto lifestyle. That's the way that I would say it. It's what I eat in the spectrum of the keto food plan, what works for me. For some people, it might be more fats, it might be more meat, less veg, it might be keto treats, keto breads, keto desserts, things like that, and that might work for them. I have introduced a cauliflower crust pizza from Cali apostrophe F L O U R E D Cali Flowered Foods, a woman-owned company, and so that's a Saturday entry into my rotation at least through the fall, because we're not having fish, and Greg really likes it, and so did I. So um, also having things like acorn squash, butternut squash, spaghetti squash, and sweet potatoes. Yes, they're higher total carbs, but they seem to fit okay because I think it's the clean, you know, definitely strict and structured and disciplined, clean fasting to the OMAD. And Jin talks about opening her window of eating. She's a much more social animal than I am, but, you know, I have my OMAD between two and three. It's it's the containment, it's the square block, OMAD, O-M-A-D. And, and so I have that and I put into it those things. Sometimes my carbs can be as high as 60 total. Other times they're like 11. It's just in what I'm having, what I like and what works for me. I'm not afraid of the total carbs of the veggie. Of course, I'm having like 30 carbs of that, 40 carbs of that, 20 carbs of that. So it is 
lower carbs. It's just more variety. And it just suits me. So I'm just here to say that. So ask yourself the question, are you doing keto as yet another diet, like a Weight Watcher diet, like a Jenny Craig diet, like any type of diet that, you know, you do, you have done, and you follow? Or is it a lifestyle where it ebbs and flows and maybe one day is more meat, the next day is seafood, so it's lower in calories? Do you, cal do, you do calorie restrict restriction? Are you older and you believe that you don't need as much food as you once needed? Are you going through, I'm not depriving myself at my age if I've weathered these last eight months, I want to have a little keto treat every now and then. Are you in that camp? Are you just, you know, doing a nice balanced meal when you have it and then the rest of the time is a clean fast? Do you have two meals a day and do the same thing? And when you open your window, as Jin says, maybe you open your window at noon and close it at five. And in that, you have two meals. What is working for you? And are you keto lifestyle or keto diet until it's I've lost what I've wanted to lose? Let me know. It's been a pleasure being here with you guys today. Thank you so much. I can't do this without you. I'll see you the next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.